Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video, a Q&A video and this is going to be in hacking because it's going to be in hacking and now YouTube and Google is treating people who are teaching cybersecurity on their platform. I got to do a quick disclaimer. So if you use any of this information I'm going to be putting in this video for illegal moral purposes or you take it out of contents, then that's purely on your head. This is a educational video and everything said within it is for educational purposes only. So with that being said, let's uh, jump on in. Now, as far as things goes, the uh, first things first is uh, thanks for subscribing and being with the channel for some time. Um, so the person they're working on a uh, program, basically they're using Wireshark right now to find websites someone's going to. The, I don't think they're going anything beyond that based on what's being said, but they're trying to figure out what websites are going to. HTTP is obviously not going to be a problem. HTTPS is going to be a problem. HTTP, for those of you who don't know the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, I think I got videos on that in the past, but just real quick, HTTP, uh, if you see like your email or a bank or whatever, HTTP, and not HTTPS. If it doesn't have that S at the end, then um, don't continue. Uh, it's it's bad. It's probably he typed something wrong in, and it's just a site mimicking that to grab information and stuff like that. Basically, S the S on the end means it's going to be encrypted, and you'll see why in a second. So as far as that goes, they're trying to find a website. Yeah, yeah. Here's the, where the limitations are going to come in. There's several limitations. First off, if the person's using a VPN to start with, there's nothing you can do about that. So let's say that you're in a coffee shop or maybe maybe you're making a parental control program and that way some parent can have whatever program run their computer and their kid to do whatever. The kid decides, oh, I'm going to use a VPN and go to porn sites or whatever. Uh, well, and that it's a high likely, um, given the way things are nowadays. Well, especially if the parent is smart enough to use an actual program like this, they probably got some networking engineering background or some networking understanding. So it'd be smart for that kid to use a VPN and, and uh, some other stuff. But as far as that goes, basically... Um, it won't be able to figure out that because because in a VPN it's all going to be encrypted so you know you're kind of screwed there. The other thing is is once a person goes to the website like say for example if the person is going to Amazon uh, what exact pages they're going to you're not going to know. So if they go from their la the landing page on Amazon to I don't know something buying whatever. Well, the thing is, is you ain't going to know that. It's, it's pa past that point. It's going to be all cryptic, and you're just not going to know it. So that's something to also note. So as far as this, basically, uh, you need to note that. If that's a problem for you, then I'll see you next video and whatever. But if, if uh, you can work around that, then great. So let's uh, move on. So I did a video in the past going into the OSI model. And uh, for those of you who don't know about um, information transmission from one device to another, uh, electronic device to another, th it, it's it's called package. Uh, packages are bits of information um, that that uh, b basically includes the following. And um, I get into an entire video on that. I will try to leave a link down below to that. Feel free to check that out, and also some of the other video, some of the other links like the donation link to this channel. But the part that is is concerning with this is layer seven. See what happens is is with HTTPS is the path and all that stuff is going to be encrypted. So um, the host name is going to be visible inside the handshake as a plain text um, and, and this is, is pretty simple explained. Basically uh, using this ESS I know TLS but uh, it's good enough for this example. Um, basically what happens is uh, all modern day clients 
uses SNI. SNI is server name indication. Server name indication is, is basically this. Uh, so try to zoom in on this a little bit more. That's, I like this one a little bit more. It tells you a little bit more what's going on. So basically, uh, let's start out with the uh, client uh, uh, s s sends stuff over to the uh, web server, um, and that is going to be the host name. From there, you're able to grab whatever you can from there. But after after it. After that point, it's uh, expected to be encrypted, and um, and fr from there, you, you, if the person goes from one place to the next, or or does whatever on a uh, site, you're not you're not going to be able to tell, um, unless if you're able to break the encryption or or do some man in the middle attack or some something of that nature. That's the only way you're able to get around. Um, now. W w with this particular project, um, obviously this is, you know, the person's obviously not aiming for malicious, or at least I don't think they are. So therefore, it, you know, th that's the, as far as they're able to take it. Now, I want to mention something that if a um, hacker, so they knew what website you went to, right, um, from that, basically if they scan all the pages on a website. So for example, if they went like to my website, even though my website is at HTTP, you don't log in through there and uh, all the other stuff. So there's no reason for it to be HTTPS. Um, so basically, let's say it's HTTPS. There's only a handful of pages. I don't have a big website. It's just a portfolio saying, this is me, hey, hire me, whatever. But uh, it's only like, what, three pages, four pages, or something like that. It's not really that big at all. Well, a hacker can scan all all those pages and see how big they are. So what they can do is they can go and, um, as as the person's going from one site to another, basically the the size of the information that says what what page they're on. That, that, that's, that's, uh, that's one way. That's, that's uh, something to note. And uh, there, there's a few other ways, um, but all, all the other ways is, I mean, like that, that finding out the size of the pages, that's fairly legal. That's, that's actually very, very much legal. But um, as far as everything else, it's, it's getting into the highly illegal territory. So that, that's something that, I mean, there's a few other ways. Like um, if the if if, if uh, hacker controls one of the referral headers, so, something like that. But I mean, you get into highly illegal territory from there on in, and uh, that that's not going to be answering this particular question. Basically, to answer this question, it is simply when the hack when the uh, person goes to the HTTP site, the um, handshake will show that the um, handshake will show the actual host name. And from there you got an idea of where the person's going to. That's it. That's simply it. Um, so as far as that goes, I mean, no, there's limitations and whatever, but if you got any questions or anything else, then feel free to leave that in the comment section and uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, and uh, feel free to let me know what you want in future videos and whatnot. And I'll see you by the. Hope you have a great day.